Hello and welcome to Celtic Knitty Designs. In this video I'm going to teach you how to make an infinity scarf. Sometimes they're also called a cowl or sometimes they're called a snood but this one doesn't really have a hood. Um, so it's like a continuous scarf. Uh, this is a great project for beginners because it's super easy and quick. Um, you can actually knit it in an evening. Um, they make great gifts. Um, and I'm going to take you through it from start to finish. So in order to make your cowl, you will need some super chunky yarn. Today I'm using Jaeger Natural Fleece. This is 100% wool and I just love the colours in it. You will also need size 12 knitting needles. Um, for today's tutorial, I'm using Prim Ergonomic size 12 mil needles. You'll also need a measuring tape, some scissors, and a yarn needle with quite a big eye on it to get the super chunky yarn through. Okay, so to get started, we're gonna cast on 22 stitches using the long tail method. Make sure you leave quite a long tail because we're using some pretty chunky needles. So to first, first things first, we're going to create a slip knot. So we pick up the yarn, wrap it around our fingers, cross it over, Pull the back yarn under the front, slide that out, and then we are ready to put the needle through the loop. Now, to find out more detailed instructions on how to cast on using the long tail method, check out the video that's in my YouTube channel. It takes you from step to step and it's super quick and easy. So we are gonna cast on 22 stitches. So we now have two, four, six, 22. Okay, let's double check. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. Oh, we had one more and we'll just ping that off. Now I'm going to do a little knot on the end just to secure that in place and leave the long tail end um, that's left over from your cast on. Leave it in place because we're going to use that later on to fasten up the, the cowl to make it infinity so it's continuous garment. Okay, so now that we've cast on those 22 stitches, we are going to start our first row. So we'll take the needle with all the cast on stitches into our left hand, and we take the empty needle into our right, and we are going to start by knitting. So we are going to knit stitch into every stitch. So the working yarn is to the back, just ignore this tail end, working yarn to the back, take the empty right needle, into the base of that first stitch on the left needle and it crosses across the back. Then take the ball end of the yarn or the working end and go around the back of the right needle in between the two needles and pull it down. Then take the left needle up, over and then we slide it off the left needle and that is our first stitch knitted. And we just continue like that along the row. So the right needle goes into the bottom of the next stitch goes across the back, yarn goes around the back, in between the right needle comes to the front and then we slide it off and just continue like that, doing the knit stitch to the end of the row. So there we have it, we have now knitted that first row and all the stitches are now in the right needle. So all we have to do is take the right needle and move it into our left hand, the empty needle into our right. Now we are going to simply continue knitting. So we are creating garter stitch to make this cowl. So we are just knitting into every stitch. 
Okay, so we have knitted our second row and you can see it's starting to grow now. And you've got these lovely blues and whites and the, and the single thread mixed in with that and it looks great. So we are now going to knit our third row. So straight in with the knit stitch. And as I said, this um, knitting every row makes the garter stitch pattern. Now we're getting to the end of the third row. And we're ready to swap needles over. And ready to knit again. So this is our fourth row now. Now as you can see with my left hand, I'm using my index finger and my thumb to control the stitches. So the index finger gets the next stitch ready to, to knit, which does speed things along a bit, but also helps with moving the stitches up the needle. Especially when you're using such chunky yarn and chunky um, needles, it's good to have that little bit of control and movement. Now, if you're a beginner, what we're, we're going to do something a bit different at the end of this row. So this is the end of row four. And there we go. Now, what we're going to do before we switch our needles over, just double check that we've still got 22 stitches on the needle. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. Perfect, we do still have 22, which is great. But if you're starting off and this is one of your start uh, beginner's projects, um, just make, every now and then, just make sure that you still have the same amount of stitches that you cast on. Um, the reason for that is that when you're starting off, it's really easy to accidentally increase. So you may find that you've got more stitches on there or less. Um, and that can affect the shape of the finished piece. So just double check that you've got the same amount there. So we are ready to continue. So this is row five. Now you can really see that the garment's starting to, to grow now. And we've got this, because we're using natural fleece, it's naturally thicker and thinner in some places. So we get this kind of um, differing stitch size within the garment, which just adds to its quirkiness and the quirky colors, which are cool. So now we just continue knitting every row in our garter stitch until the piece measures um, around 40 centimeters. Okay, so now I think we're coming up to the piece being about 40 centimeters long. So what we're gonna do is just take a little checkpoint. So finish this row. And the first thing we're gonna do is just make sure that we've still got 22 stitches on the needle. perfect and now what we're going to do is grab our measuring tape and we're going to check the measurement you need your measuring tape itself and you need to hold the garment flat it needs to all be on one needle and just hold the tape there and take it across to the top of the needle so we're about just over 40 centimeters there so now we can put the tape measure back to the side and pick up our needles and continue knitting.
Okay, so we're coming up to the end of another row, but we are about to run out of yarn. So this is all we've got left uh, of that first ball. So as you can see, we got pretty far with that first ball. It was good yardage. Um, so now what we're going to do is join a new ball. So we've got the tail end of the finished ball and we've got the new end of the new ball. What we're going to do is just hold them together and then I am going to knit into this first stitch with both these strands in, in my right hand and I'm then going to work both of them round and just grab that working end again and knit with both strands and I'm going to do that twice so we've got both strands and we're going to knit in again so that is us joined a new ball of yarn so we can continue with our cowl um, what we'll do at the end is we'll weave in those uh, tail ends I'll show you how to do that so we are going to continue knitting and garter stitch until we reach our desired length so that the cowl fits nicely around our necks Now, I'll knit this row again. When we get to the end where we've um, created that join, I'm just going to show you what we're going to do then. So I'll continue knitting along. Okay, now we're almost at the end where we've got these joins. Now you can see there's two strands there and there's two strands there. What we're going to do is just knit them like normal, like they're a normal stitch. Knit and just pull that tail to secure and then knit and then pull that to secure so we have a bit of a seamless join and then we just continue knitting again and once we get to the end of this row I'm going to see what the length is and see how close we are and literally all I'm going to do is put it around my neck to see how far I need to go very scientific okay so we have it joined around my neck but I'm just going to keep going for a few more rows because I want it to kind of be baggy but I'm also going to put a twist in it um, which I'll show you once we've um, finished knitting the length so I think another ooh, uh, 10 rows and then we're there Okay, so I've just finished uh, the last row, and it was a wrong side row, so it was the the back of the garment, or the, what would be the inside. And we're sitting at about 75 centimeters long. So if you aim for that for yours, and this is this looks like a good length for fitting neatly around my neck. Uh, so now what I'm gonna do is cast off knitwise. So I have a full video tutorial on how to do this on the YouTube channel, just click on the link. Um, but I'll give you a quick recap. So we knit one, knit two, so we've got two stitches on the right needle. We take the left needle and scoop up that first stitch on the right and pass it over the second stitch and then slide it off. So that is us casting off. And then knit another stitch, pick the needle, pick the stitch up, pull it up, over and off the second needle. And then knit another stitch, pick up the first stitch on the right needle, pick it up, over and off. And we just continue all the way along the row until we have one stitch left. And this will leave us with a really nice neat edge. And we just continue Casting off all 22 stitches. Well, until we get to the last one, I'll show you what to do. Casting off is so satisfying once you're when you're doing a project because uh, you know you're almost finished. Okay, so we've got one stitch left on the left. We're just going to knit that, pass that right stitch, second, uh, first stitch on the right stitch over, 
Now we've got one stitch left on the right needle. We are going to cut the yarn, leaving a short tail. Pick up our needle with the big eye and thread that short tail through. And we're then going to slide this last stitch off the needle and thread it through with our darning needle and just pull to secure. And there we go. That's us cast off for a cast off edge for our infinity scarf. Now we've got tail here. We've got some tails from when we where we joined. And then we've got the tail from the cast on, which was a bit longer. So what we're gonna do is fasten the cowl together, but what we're gonna do that by putting a twist in it first so that instead of it sitting on a tube around your neck like this it'll be um, a nice twist in it, it'll look really nice and sit nicely so what, what we're going to do is literally hold it up twist it round and then join the opposing ends so our tail end from our cast off goes to this corner and the cast on edge goes to this corner so we've just put this nice twist in the middle so that now the opposing ends are going to be sewn together. So start off with the cast off edge, which was a shorter tail. We are going to sew into this first stitch. Now I'm going to put the seams together side by side. There we go. There's our twist at the bottom. It looks a bit weird, but it'll work, trust me. So what we're going to do is just sew this up and we're going to use um, a really easy stitch we're just gonna pick up the loops and on each edge and thread the yarn through and just continue like that and that creates a pretty seamless join it's also pretty secure so just follow through like that and it will be ready in no time you do not need to be a epic sewer or anything to do this. Now we've only got a tiny bit of this left so what I'm going to do is just feed it through and go to the inside and I'm just going to secure this tail end off because we have a really nice big tail on our cast on edge but we just don't want this to be right at the end in case our little tail pokes through and we can see it once we're in the garment which we don't want. So just tie a little knot on the end to secure after threading it through and snip the tail off. So we've joined it here, looking good. And then we are now gonna pick up the tail from the cast on edge. So from the bottom corner. I did leave quite a tail here. Probably doesn't need to be anywhere near as long as that, but hey ho. Okay, so now we're gonna join these two corners. Thread it through there. And we're then going to continue with picking up these little bumps there and then the equal side and thread that through. And we'll just continue. Now remember this yarn that I'm using, which is natural fleece, um, is 100% wool, but it's also been deliberately spun to be of kind of varying thicknesses. So it's super chunky in weight but it has this like variation in it. So that's why it looks a little bit strange. If you were using an acrylic yarn, you might not get the same kind of effect um, with that difference. So if you want it to be more symmetrical or the same throughout, then maybe use um, a different kind of spun yarn. But everyone's got their own preferences and I just love the colors in this. And so you can see we're starting to join the stitches there and it looks pretty neat. There's one of the thick bits here you can see and then the thinner bits. Which is what I was talking about with this type of yarn. It's pretty cool. And there, just keep on sewing this up. It's looking really neat and we're almost coming to the to meet the cast off end that we've already sewed up so almost there a couple more stitches
There we go. Oops, dropped the needle. There we go. So we've joined it there. Now we just push the needle, needle through so that it's on the inside. And we flip it round so that now this is the inside. And there's our little knot from before. And we are just going to thread this yarn through a couple of stitches. And then make a little knot. Just pull it in back on itself. There we go. And we're going to cut that off. Now we are going to find that join. Here it is. And we're just going to feed in these tail ends as well. So we'll take the smaller one first because it's closer to the inside. And we're just going to feed that in through some of these stitches. and then tie a little knot on the end there and cut that tail off and then we're on to the last little tail from our joining the new ball and we're just going to thread it through here there and this is just to secure the yarn in place so it just doesn't unravel and also by bringing the tails away from the edge it will limit the potential for the tail end to stick out when you're wearing the when you're wearing the cowl. Tie a little knot to secure, and then we'll cut that tail end off too. And there we have it. This is your finished cowl with a nice twist in it, uh, ready to wear. So these are great for many reasons. One, uses less wool than a scarf. It takes a lot less time than a scarf. And a lot of people love wearing these because they keep your neck lovely and warm whilst you don't have the bulk of a scarf being tucked into your jacket. So there we go. There is your hand knitted, in an evening, start to end, cowl or infinity scarf or snood. And cause we've used that big chunky 12 mil needle with our super chunky yarn. It was super quick to knit up, but it's also got this excellent stitch with a nice stretch on it. So it's going to be super nice to wear. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed knitting your cowl and I really hope you enjoy wearing it. Um, if you liked this video, please leave a comment, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to Celtic Knitted Designs. Thank you so much.